I shouldn't play that three. Yeah. I'm just telling you what you should have done. Going to Home Depot for the one zillionth time. We really need to get the car serviced. We just don't care because we're getting rid of it. Can you guys do a color match for me? That was a major fail. So I had the chip of paint that I needed to get it color matched because we have to repaint like a few little parts in the kitchen and I think when we were at the farmer's market and I was taking money out, it like fell out because I had it just in my wallet. So now I gotta get another chip of paint and go back, but I'm not coming back here today. Home Depot, like I'm so sick of you. I just wanna be done working on the house and I want to stop coming here every day seriously sucks oh hey hey mom hi baby muffin hi number two. Oh no you're not number two you my baby boys Woo. so I totally lost like the little paint chip that I took off I think I lost it at the farmer's market. So no paint today. Hey baby boo. So here's my lunch. I have a bunch of jasmine rice. Yes, it is white rice. I was like craving white rice for some reason, so I ate some. And this is a three bean Fiesta salad from my other video from our uh, book, Fully Cooked. And just have some hot sauce and salsa on here. And that's what I'm having for lunch. What do I got? I got a wild rice and pea soup burrito. <laughs> so somebody even commented on the, but actually pretty good. And I'm putting some of the Chilean super hot sauce stuff on it. Very, very good. Somebody said that we would get tired of burritos. I don't know. I don't know if that can really happen. It's just like when you can put something in burrito form, it just takes it to like- What are you so. eating? Stop it. Sorry, go on. <laughs> when you can just put things in burrito form, it's amazing. You just toast it up on the oven and you're just like, boom. Boom! Boom! And now we're gonna watch some hoarders. Okay, bye. When we were actually first going to do this channel, I actually wanted to do a segment called Ridiculously Expensive Tea Time with D-Man and High Carb Hannah, where we just get the most expensive tea and drink it and talk about the most random topic. But we just drink like $3 chai tea. <laughs> And we play skip boat. Hannah talks a big skip boat game, but she can't back it up though. Okay, go. <laughs> we used to have a scorecard going, and she seemed to have I, lost it. If it's not here, it never existed, so I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't remember ever having a scorecard. He doesn't like buzzing noises. <laughs> You guys are getting snappy, eh? This is a pretty intense game going on right here. No words are being spoken. <laughs> and in other news in our life, um... We're not moving to Phoenix anymore. The lady that we're dealing with, with the apartment, just kept jacking up the price and adding on fees. So I basically gave her a big... She wanted, so we thought it'd be like 550 when we first applied for it. And then it was like 650, and then it was like 750, and then she wanted 850 with the dogs. And I'm like, this is a 300 square foot apartment. Like, this is ridiculous. So we looked at like mountains that we can cycle up, and we found a really big one in Tucson, and we're gonna be like a 30 minute bike ride from there. So yeah. now we're living in Tucson, and it's $569 a month. I thought it was 469. 469. 469. Like Way we lost cheaper. that we lost $100 deposit, but 
that's a small price it's to pay. It's four hundred dollars cheaper a month than we would have paid. Yeah, so. and we'll be right near Mount. It's Lemon. L. It's Lemon or Lamont. I don't know how Lemon. you pronounce it, but we'll only be like fifteen minutes away from a Trader Joe's. So we looked up two things. Where's the closest mountain, and where's the closest Trader Joe's, and that's and all. And they have a about. dog park, and they take dogs. So it's like. Like the permit has a dog park, and we're on the first floor. Before we on the second floor, like it was all just bullshit. Oh. Yeah, we paid the ten dollar surcharge for being on the ground floor. Ten bucks more to be on the ground floor. <laughs> it's probably a really. It looks like a really shady apartment complex, but you gotta pick your battles. <laughs> I'll just be a little bit worried about. Like running around the apartment complex with the camera all the time because people are like, oh, it's a really nice camera. I wonder how much heroin I can get for that. You know? Like, we watch too much yeah. intervention. We watch a lot of intervention. I actually had a dream about that last night is that somebody stole our bikes and pawned them each for $60. And I'd just be more pissed off that they pawned them for $60 because, like, our bikes are worth over $1,000. Like, uh, are you alright there, Dewey? <laughs> We're not taking them to the dog park tonight just because uh, it's it, freezing and it's super windy and it's pretty pretty bad weather out. So they're a little they're a little rowdy. They're a little rowdy tonight, I would say. Another twelve or eleven. That would just be great. Go. We talk major shit to each other. The place gets all like it wouldn't even be YouTube appropriate. It gets. A lot of cuss words and a lot of names it would thrown just be at each beep, other. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. Like not in a mean way, like in a friendly, like yeah. loving way. But if you think Bubby, Bubba, and Dewey cuss a lot, like we cuss, like we cuss way more than that when we play Skippo. Bra, ease up there. Bra. Uh oh, mommy's getting close. You should play that three. I'm just telling you what you should have done. It's hard to come back. God damn it. Boom, who won, babe? 